We all know how the alien invasion goes down, right? The aliens show up in their ships and start attacking us and shooting things up like in War of the Worlds or Independence Day. Or maybe if we're lucky they just show up to collect specimens like E.T. or say hello like in Close Encounters. Well, things are nothing like that in The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. In The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey, the alien ship has shown up. It's hovering there out in the atmosphere. But nobody knows what the aliens look like. Everybody's waiting for them to beam down or start attacking or come and say hello with some message from outer space, and that just never happens. What does happen is the first wave. It's an electromagnetic pulse, which knocks out all the power and throws the world into chaos. Not just the lights, but phones, cars, everything. And then the second wave, a series of tsunamis, followed by the third wave, a horrible disease that kills off 97% of the remaining humans. Cassie, the teenage protagonist of the fifth wave, has managed to survive the Red Plague, and miraculously so have her father and her little brother Sammy. But unfortunately they've been separated, and so now Cassie is walking around with her M16 rifle in a world that feels very much like The Walking Dead or maybe Cormac McCarthy's The Road, trying to reunite with her little brother, and also looking for other survivors, but not entirely sure she wants to find them. At this point, Cassie doesn't know who she can trust. The fifth wave is told in several chunks and from multiple points of view. We also hear the story of Sam after he's been separated from Cassie and what happens to him. We also get the tale of Ben, a former classmate of Cassie's, who's been taken into an army base and is being trained to fight back against the aliens. We also hear the story of Evan, a farm boy who has excellent survival skills and takes Cassie in for a while when she's been injured. This is such a smart way to tell this story because it's got a little bit of something for everyone. Cassie's story is a post-apocalyptic survival story. When we're with Sammy, her little brother, we get the alien invasion from a kid's point of view. When we're with Ben, we have a war story, complete with basic training and recon missions. And during the part where Cassie is staying with Evan, there's even a little bit of romance. This is a really excellent adventure, and I highly recommend The Fifth Wave to all of you. I hope you're enjoying your summer reading as much as I am here at the Book House. If you want, you can tell me about it in the comments. And in the meantime, Keep reading, bookhousers.